Hey guys, it's Sasha with Rice and Raw. I'm back. <laughs> I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I really missed you guys. Like, oh, I made a few videos, but I'm like, oh, they're not good enough, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've been traveling a lot for work. Um, at the same time, you know, I've been able to stay home a little bit as well. I uh, spend time with my cat, Klee, who's making trouble over there. <laughs> who's now in a box. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm just going to give you guys a little update. Um, it's been hard making sure I get enough food while working. That's been, she's stuck in there. <laughs> That's been like my hardest obstacle to overcome. And, you know, I'm still working on it, still trying to find ways to make it work for me. Luckily, I have an eco jars lid. So what I do is I bring my smoothies and little mason jars and this little lid has has a straw so it's almost like a little latte or I don't know those little like iced coffee things so I bring that and I have two of those usually in the morning I uh, I drink one on my way to work whoever that may be and then I drink the other one while at work sometimes I'll just eat straight up bananas because I just don't feel like making a smoothie and it's annoying because I don't really have the time I'm used to uh, to eat a whole or finish a whole smoothie or eat a whole plate full of fruit. Usually I do it for like an hour and a half. You know, I'm doing it like while I'm just, you know, on the computer watching YouTube, you know, just relaxing. But when I'm working, I'm in this mode where I'm like, I can't be distracted. And for me, like eating is distracting. It's like, I just want to work. So it's uh, this struggle and I have to make sure I make time to eat and uh, just get it done. I am not raw to four all the time now. It's usually about half the time. I find that this is just easier, especially when traveling. Uh, when, you know, my coworkers, they want to go out to lunch. I can't be like, well, I'm only going to have a salad and then eat fruit later. I, I, I don't, I know that's possible, but it's just, I don't want to do that. I want to feel involved with everyone. I don't want to alienate myself. I already alienate myself enough by bringing in like seven and eight bananas, um, all these mason jars, uh, not eating meat, you know, people are like, their minds are <laughs> being blown. So, uh, I, you know, I kind of want to fit in a little bit that way. I feel a little more connected with people, you know, like I sit down at lunch and have uh, some cooked food. I do try to keep it to Asian food, hopefully sushi places, because then I can have my vegetable sushi, cucumber sushi, avocado sushi, and, you know, I order like five rolls and people are like, what? That's so much. <laughs> you know, they're thinking that. Sometimes they say it. Sometimes they're just like, <laughs> you know, and I, people always, you know, somehow get into it. And I think it's pretty interesting. And luckily I have met only people who think it's really cool and interesting. And they ask all these questions. And I think that's cool. And you know what? They might not be interested in doing it themselves, but they're just interested in just the idea of it. Because, I mean, it is you know, you don't usually meet people who eat 10 minutes in one sitting. So uh, there are some people who are really interested in it. And I can tell, you know, when people aren't interested in it, all they do is they just don't ask. And I just don't talk about it. And then we can talk about other things. And that's totally fine. So, you know, it's really, you know, you kind of have to get out of that vegan complex where you just expect people to be like, where'd you get your protein? I haven't gotten that like once, maybe like maybe a week into knowing someone, but it wasn't the first question they asked when they found out I was vegan. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's pretty laid back and I feel like sometimes through the internet, um, us as vegans, we get attacked. So we think that when we're out in public, we're still going to be attacked like we are on the internet. And that's just really not true. At least in my experience, uh, you know, sometimes I will get people who attack me like God, a couple weekends ago. Um, my boyfriend's friend just like totally just, I don't know. I just felt like really attacked and I'm just like, I don't know. It's just how I eat. I don't want to like talk about it. I'm like, yeah, you can reference all you want. But the thing is, is that I feel great. So I don't know. Like, it's fine. <laughs> I just tried to like be nice about it, but it, it got a lot of hand. It was really, really weird. However, <laughs> um, most of the time, you know, that, that was like at dinner, like out in public. It was really awkward. I was like, what are you doing? Stop. But anyway, <laughs> Um, most of the time you're, that's not going to happen. And if it does happen, just, I don't know, it works for me. <laughs> that's kind of just my go-to because I don't really want to try to have some like serious conversation when, you know, you're just eating and hanging out. No reason to do that. Um, you know, and people don't really want to talk about food all the time anyway. And if people are asking questions, that's cool. You know, I'll talk, you know, I'll talk and all that. 
But for the most part, I don't really want to talk about it, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, what I'm trying to say is that it's not as scary out in the real world as we might think, since we're so used to the internet, you know, trolls and all that. When you're out in the real world, people most of the time just are like, cool. Even if they don't think it's cool, or they're like, whoa, cool, tell me more. I'm going to ask you so many questions about it. And that's cool, too. So most people are not going to try to start an argument with you or tell you how to eat, as long as you're not, you know, telling them how to eat. And that's the thing. Like, I know a lot of people do say, you know, I'm not going to be friends with someone who thinks it's okay to be eating meat. You know, for moral reasons, it's kind of, it's totally messed up. And I understand that. I can respect that. And to an extent, I feel that way. However... I do feel it is important, at least for me, to make other people feel comfortable around me. So say we're going out to eat and I'm with people who eat meat and they're saying, oh my God, is this okay? I'm so sorry I'm eating meat in front of you. It's fine. You know, I, I let them feel comfortable. I do. And I know that, that, that not all vegans might agree with me on that, but I let them feel comfortable. So I say, you know what? It's your decision. Do what you want. And that's my little tactic because I want them to feel comfortable around me. I want them to... Uh, not have their guard up. So eventually, hopefully, maybe some people might think, hey, this is really interesting. Maybe I'll try it for a week. Maybe I'll try it for a couple weeks. Maybe I'll just start with having like eight bananas on the subway in the morning like my friend did. He texted me. He's like, I just had eight bananas on the subway. I feel amazing. <laughs> so, you know, just little things like that. Uh, you want people to feel comfortable around you so then maybe they're comfortable with the idea of you know, eating more fruit, eating more vegetables. If you know, that's like my main goal is just just eat more fruit and vegetables, less processed foods, and just start with that. And that's how few people feel kind of comfortable with that because it is very intimidating for some person to come into your life and be like, "Oh, hey, by the way, eating meat is really, really bad for you and bad for the planet and bad for animals, and it's fucked up, so you should stop." Like, that's scary. You have to stop everything you're doing. So starting with little things like eat more vegetables, eat more fruit, you know. Eat, you know, less processed foods. That's more of a positive thing. It's an achievable goal over a period of time. So it's less intimidating. And that's kind of like my personal, like, tactic to go out in the world with. And it's not like I have a hidden agenda trying to, like, get everyone to be vegan. You know, I joke about it. It's like, well, you know, if you hang out with me long enough, you'll become vegan. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a joke. It's not serious. And, you know, I don't expect anyone to change their dietary patterns for my personal, you know, want or need, uh, that's up to them. And, you know, I understand when people say it, it's not fair, be, you know, because it's like a kind of a tragedy of the commons thing. But I feel like, you know, just be the change you want to see in the world and just make everyone feel comfortable. And then maybe they'll be like, oh, this person's really cool. I really like, you know, this is kind of interesting. Maybe they'll have more smoothies. That's my goal here. All right, enough about that. Um, work's been amazing. I am busy. I'm very busy. And it's hard also to find the time to work out. I know that's kind of an excuse. Um, I have been going to my pole exercising classes. I've been in the instructor series where all the instructors are and all. It's like the highest level there. And it's been really cool. Everyone's so nice and really cool and really confident in themselves. And I really like that. I'm learning a lot. I'm kind of like the, the newbie in the class. Uh, definitely they're, they all have like a lot of the main impressive moves down and I'm just like, um, <laughs> but they're really nice to me and it's fun and I like going cause it's a, it's a fun socializing event for me and it's a good, it's a good thing for me also to socialize with people that aren't at work because I can feel a little more free. Like planting isn't a very corporate thing you wouldn't talk about. So it's kind of like a little outlet where I can just, you know, come back to me and not feel like I'm censoring myself in any way. You know, I've also been doing pole here and I need to get back into stretching. That's the one thing that I, I know I want to be doing. I know I want to be more flexible. And yet after work, I just want to like zone out, watch TV and I want to move. So that's something like a hurdle I'm going to have to overcome somehow. I have not been to the gym to lift either. So that's also something I'm kind of bummed out about. So just things that I have to work on. Uh, you know, I don't hold myself to any high standard anymore. And I don't get down on myself if I don't do what I want, to, like achieve what I want. You know, um, I don't measure myself by how my body looks. I'm trying more to just 
if I can, great, it's good for me, it makes me feel good, and that's why I do it, and that's why I want to do it. I don't make myself feel terrible that I haven't gone to the gym to lift. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm a terrible person. I'm, you know, I don't do that anymore, and I used to. And I'm glad that I don't, because then when I do go to the gym, I'm like, yeah, let's get back into it. It's not like, oh, I have to do this now because I'm fat, and I'm going to still have to go for two hours, you know, things like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, this video is long enough. I guess I'll make another video about the next topic I want to talk about. Uh, but pretty much in general, it's definitely possible to be rough so far and work. I've been kind of bending the rules even more. I'm so, I'm someone who like always bends the rules when it comes to like dieting, I guess. Uh, you know, I went from like wanting to be 80, 10, 10, fully raw. Then I was like, okay, I'm going to go just McDougal style. I can't do this. And then I'm back to like Rato 4. So I can tell my whole life I'm always going to be vegan. It's, it's, I'm always going to be vegan. However, the amount of raw food in my life, the amount of fat, protein to carbs might change a bit. I'm still going to try to keep my macros at 80, 10, 10. Um, recently, I've noticed I'm a bit more relaxed with having more fat in my diet. It's not like a big deal for me. Um, I wouldn't mind if I gained some weight, so I'm not really thinking about that. Uh, however, I do, of course, keep my fruit smoothies, you know, in the morning at least. And I don't like doing anything crazy. I'm not like pouring olive oil all over my food. It's just I'm a little more relaxed with it. I'll have like a half an avocado every other day, you know, like some two or three avocados a week. It's not, I'm not freaking out about it. Um... Yes, yeah, so I'm going to make another video about the next topic I want to talk about. And I'm really happy to be back, you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video if you guys want to watch the next video. Bye. <laughs>